Love Secrets is hanging out with Leah and Macy from the Team Mom franchise. What's going on, ladies? How are you? Doing great. We just got a bunch of snow here in West Virginia. Macy, oh, did what? you get snow? No. They kept saying we were going to get, but we didn't. We never get snow. You can send some down here for us. <laughs> the Team Mom Family Reunion is airing tomorrow, which is super, super exciting. Are you guys stoked to be back on TV? I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Me too. Me too. <laughs> Yeah. I've been nervous for something to air in a long time and I'm, yes. I'm actually nervous, but I'm, I'm excited to see it. Totally. Totally. And now what can fans really expect from this? Because we know it's like the mom of all vacations. Like what, what's going down? A lot of ups and downs, a lot of growth. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I, th I I'm excited and nervous. A lot of fun. Um, I'd say the biggest thing and that the, the viewers will really like is getting to see all of us together. And like some of us had never met before. So spending two weeks together, like we really got to know each other. Um, and I think the fans are gonna like that. Um, and we had a lot of fun together, a lot of fun together. Totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and can maybe you share some of your favorite memories while being together? Because it, it looked like, you know, it was paradise over there. <laughs> I think my favorite memories from the reunion would definitely be the the activities that we done while we were there. It really bonded us and brought us close. Like, it just let us get to know everyone a little bit better and going through so much together. And then Coach Bryant being there and being able to navigate a lot of emotions that came up for us. And also Leah, you know, apparently has never told anyone that she's like a professional uh, athlete because... <laughs> you too! <laughs> no, you first try, you got it done after everybody else died. <laughs> it's because West Virginia, we have all of those activities here in West Virginia, Macy. <laughs> Kind of going into a little more of like a deeper question. I know Macy, there's been a clip out there saying um, that you've been chasing acceptance for a really long time. And I know a lot of girls are probably relating to that. I know I've related to that in, in different ways. Um, can you maybe touch on being so vulnerable in that scene and maybe like how you're coping and how you are accepting yourself now? I, I think for me, it's definitely, I would say a lot of, women relate to it, especially after you have children, just trying to trying to figure out who you are. Like who I was just trying to figure out who I am as a woman, not necessarily like I know I'm a mom, I know I'm a businesswoman, I know I'm a wife, but who am I when all of those titles are taken, you know, away? Mm -hmm. And so that was really kind of my goal going into it and like, the personal growth that I wanted to make was just trying to figure out who Macy is as a grown woman, not a mom or a teen mom or all the other things. Okay, totally. And, you know, Leah, you get kind of vulnerable too, because I know that you say it's kind of too, be, too good to be true with you and Jalen. And you're like, I don't know how, how I can trust him or open up to him. Talk to us maybe about that too, because that that's that's pretty serious as well. I think going into the Team Mom Family Reunion, I didn't realize how guarded I actually was. Even connecting with all of the girls, I was very closed off at first and guarded. It was hard for me to open up and get to know them and trust them. And, and I saw that reflected back to my relationship. Totally. And I, it was a lot of growth. Thank God for Dr. Bryant. Seriously, yeah. she really yeah. helped out. Yeah, Dr. Bryant really helped to create um, a safe space for all of us individually, but also together. Mm -hmm. And like Leah said, when one of us, it was almost uh, like a domino effect. One of us would get vulnerable mm -hmm. and like at all of us became open and more open every single day. So by the end of it, I mean, we were really close. I mean, like, really close with each other and really got to know each other and understand each other. So thank God. Yeah. Thank God for Dr. Bryant. <laughs> totally. And I feel like everyone kind of wants to see that too on TV. You know, like we have the drama, we have the glitz and glam, but when you guys get raw and vulnerable, I feel like that's when people relate the most, you know? Agreed. Yeah, I definitely agree. Um, and I think too, they're really going to enjoy seeing us figure out 
all the same and different ways that we relate to each other and us kind of becoming just one big support system for each other is, you know, everybody needs a tribe. And now that we are one, it just makes the show and us all working together that much easier. I want to talk a little bit about the drama. I know that Farah comes in and there's going to be a lot of it. Um, if you could describe this drama in three words without giving too much away, what would those three words be? A show. <laughs> no. um, I don't know about everybody else's family, but like, I just call it a family reunion. That's what it was. <laughs> I love that. Now, in addition to family reunion, you guys have the spinoff of Girls Night In, and it's cool because you get to like watch back some scenes. Is that kind of cringeworthy to go back and, and, and look at some of these scenes? I know for me, I don't like watching my interviews. I, I don't like it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think for me, it, it was cool because I typically don't watch the show. Mm -hmm. um, Mainly because, you know, you already lived it. So when you watch it, it's kind of like you have to relive it or like open an old wound or or be like, what was I thinking? You know, so I don't typically watch it, but being able to, to actually watch it and get to know the, their stories on the show. I don't know. It's really interesting. And I feel like after the family reunion and then getting to see the sh them on the show, I'm like, I don't know. I felt like very empathetic sometimes. I feel like I cried like more watching, especially after getting to know everybody. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh man, because they're my sisters, you know? So it's like, it's hard to watch them struggle. Totally. But it's also just really interesting. I think it's going to be fun for people to see that as well. And it's crazy to think that, you know, you guys are still on the air after all these years. I feel like I kind of grew up watching the Teen Mom franchise. And how does that feel to know that, you know, people are still loving the content that you guys are putting out? You know, they're kind of growing with you and your kids. It's crazy. Honestly, if you, I, I obviously, I don't think any of us knew what we were actually signing up for, but even still, if you fight like, five years in if you were like hey this is gonna still be going in another like seven years i would have been like no you're nuts like no it's not so it's crazy to really sit and think about like this year i will have been filming for 13 years wow Lastly, you know, we are celeb secrets. I need to know any like behind the scenes secrets that went down with Family Reunion or even Girls Night In that we wouldn't know by watching. I don't know. What do you think, Leah? I'm trying to think of something, it, but like not give too much away. <laughs> I mean, I personally think the water sports was a lot of fun. Okay. That was fun to see all of us on the water sports yes. on, the, on vacation together. Okay. Yes. So we killed it, Macy. We killed it on the tube. And yeah, yeah, we killed it. Were there any like crazy moments that happened when you guys were doing it? Any, anything maybe like fun stories? One of the funniest and like, you know, we're not sure what's, what's going, like what's going to be aired, but I'd say definitely some of the games we would play like Heads Up or Truth or Dare, stuff like that. Some of it, I'm like, I think we need to dial it back a couple notches. <laughs> but, but it's it's funny because you know we are not 16 and 17 anymore. So like our version of fun is like pajamas and board games. <laughs> so you guys were really pushed to your limits in a sense when when you were doing all these water sports and games, is what you're saying. Yeah, no, yes. some activities, I mean, we really had to like it became very team building because yes. you know what on one day one activity that somebody or half the people love mm -hmm. and then the next day you have something and like you really have to work and support each other because somebody is afraid has fears of heights or this or that so i think it, it's going to be awesome i'm so excited mm -hmm.